Hey, my name is Lacey, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the easy opt-in integration for your website. Essentially, what this integration does is allows you to create your own custom opt-in box that you can set up so you can start collecting emails right away. With the easy opt-in forms, you can start building a solid email list that you can then turn around to create a campaign with a special offer, and then you will always have a way to communicate with your audience. So the first step is to actually set up and connect your autoresponder. If you have not done so, there is a great tutorial on how to set this up. In this tutorial, I will be using MailChimp and I have already set up my API keys and created my list. Once you have completed that step, come back to this video and I will show you how to set up the easy opt-in. To access the Easy Opt-in dashboard, come up here to the top and click Easy Opt-ins. You'll then be taken here where you can add a form. You will provide a name, a description, and a background, and that's for your own use. So I am going to say Roofing and Beyond, Email List, and Next. Now this is where we will set up our autoresponder that we set up previously. So you'll set up your MailChimp, you'll select the list, and you'll click Next. Alright, so on this next page, we're taking to the Edit Form Wizard where we can fill out the trigger button, pop-up title, pop-up image, all of that stuff. So this first button is the trigger button. This is the main call to action button and it goes here. So we're going to enter um, claim free bid now. Okay, and if you want to change the background color, you can. You can change the text and the size. Change it to text or button. I'm going to leave that all there. Add in your pop-up image so when it pops up this is the image along with their name and email they'll fill out image redirect URL so if they clicked on the image where do you want it to take them um, subscribe button so when the form submit button so you want to say yes claim free bid And I want these two background colors to be the same. So I'm going to copy that color. Okay, text color white. Thank you page URL. And if you remember and you set up your other pages, um, you'll have a thank you page. So I'm just going to add in that right now. I think mine was slash thank you. If they say no, they don't want a free bid, this is where they're going to get sent to. So the decline URL. So they say, no, I accidentally clicked on that. I don't want a free bid. Where do you want it to take them? I just want it to take them to my homepage. So that's what I'm going to add in here. and the claim text is optional. So I'm just going to say save and publish. So now what we can do with this is we can copy this easy opt-in data ID. We're going to go back to our roofing and beyond command hub where we are going to create a new blank page. We'll click next. In the body is where you want to paste your easy opt-in code that you copied. We're going to give the page a title, say free bid sign up. To receive free bid. All right, and then we're going to click save. 
Now we can go and preview this page. So this page, you can go claim free bid. We'll enter our name and our email and we'll say yes, claim free bid. So after you sign up, it takes you straight to their web page. You click on the easy opt-ins again, you will see where all of the entrants are. So we have one entrance and you can click on it and you can see the date, the name, email, autoresponder, location, and you can also download the CSV. So that way you can keep all of your emails and your email list all put together. So that is it for this easy opt-ins tutorial. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to support.